Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be talking all about a brand new product from a brand new indie company. At least it's a new company to me and this is one of the first releases they've ever done. Today we're going to be talking about the Storybook Cosmetics Wizardry and Witchcraft Palette. This launch was really exciting for me for a couple reasons. First off, you guys know I love supporting indie makeup brands. I myself own an indie makeup brand, so I know the value of supporting small businesses. But even more than that, Storybook Cosmetics is really, really unique. The whole premise behind the brand is to kind of bring to life your favorite storybooks. Obviously, this Wizardry and Witchcraft palette was inspired by Harry Potter. I don't think this is in direct collaboration with the Harry Potter franchise or anything, but you know, you kind of think of that when you see this palette. Now, before we jump into talking about the palette, I wanted to let you guys know really quickly that if you haven't had a chance to check out my makeup line, Ronnie Cosmetics, we are running a Memorial Day sale and it's actually ending today. So if you guys are watching this video right when it goes up, just know that we are having free shipping, domestic shipping within the US on any order. So whether you order one lipstick, two lipsticks, three lipsticks, the bundle, you get free shipping. So I wanted to let you guys know the link will be in the description box below for you guys and that promotion will not be running for very much longer you guys only have a couple more hours left to shop so make sure you take advantage of that sale okay jumping right back into the palette now I actually pre-ordered this palette back in February when storybook cosmetics was doing their first launch pre-order of it I didn't actually get it in my hands until about a week ago which is May which is when they said that I would be getting it but I guess I just didn't realize how long February till May is because I completely forgot that this was even coming. I honestly completely forgot that I even bought it because that's quite a few months from February to May, but it was a really happy surprise when I got it in the mail. The palette retails for $52, and then I did pay $7 for shipping, so I paid $59 total for this palette. One thing I do wanna say is that Storybook Cosmetics packaging and presentation of the product was absolutely excellent. The palette itself did actually come in this little bag here. It's sort of like this velvet pouch, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then it also came with this little bookmark, which is technically like their little business card, which is so cute. It has their little social media at the bottom, but I mean, you can use it as a functional bookmark. I think that's really, really cute. This is what the palette itself looks like. You can see that it has this beautiful gold foiling on it. And then the back just has a little summary of what's inside side and then I love the little spine because it really does look like a book. You can actually put this in your bookshelf and it would blend right in. The palette itself is fairly thick. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily consider this a travel friendly palette or anything, but I mean, the fact that they wanted it to look like a book, of course it was gonna be a little bit thicker. It does have a magnetic closure and then it also does have a pretty decent sized mirror over here. You're getting 12 eyeshadow shades within the palette itself and you can see that the colors are actually really, really interesting. When I first saw the variety of shades you're getting in this palette, I did think it was a unique blend of shades. Now, before we jump into my thoughts on the texture and the quality of the eyeshadows you get in this palette, let's just go ahead and jump right into swatches of this entire palette so you can see how they all perform. So here we have swatches of all 12 of the shadows swatched across my arm. From left to right, we have broomstick, sorcerer, cloak, potions, Prophecy, Salem, Merlin, Bewitched, Cavsaron, Spellbook, Charms, and Jinx. So you can see within this palette, you're getting a mix of different textures. You have a good amount of mattes, you have some kind of metallic shadows, and then you have a couple that look super, super foiled. Okay, so jumping right into discussing the quality of these eyeshadows. I will say that they're not bad, but they're not great. They're just very average. You could probably tell from the swatches that some of them swatch out really, really beautifully and perform really beautifully, but the majority of them are 
very average. The best shade in this palette is Bewitched, which is that kind of really, really foiled gold color. These two shades over here, I was really, really excited about, but they were really stiff. Most of these shades did require quite a bit of building to get the true pigmentation, like what you see in the pan. In terms of the quality of the different textures of shadows, the matte shadows, for the most part, are not really pigmented. The best matte shadow was Cloak, this gray. That was actually a really, really great matte shadow. But all of the other mattes I found needed to be built up and they are very, very powdery, like excessively powdery to the point where you almost can't even build it up because the powder almost doesn't even stick to the skin, even with a base and a primer. The kind of metallic shadows, which are like this one, this one, this one, these were okay. Once again, like I said, they did need to be built up. A couple layers will get you the maximum color payoff out of those. They're just a little stiffer to work with. Now the foiled ones, which are like these two over here, are really, really, really beautiful. I actually have Bewitched on my eyelids today, and then I also did work in Spellbook and Broomstick and a little bit of this kind of dark black shade as well. I've used this palette about four or five times now, and I'll be perfectly honest, every single eye look I do with this palette, I haven't really been in love with any of them. Not to say that they're hideous, but I find the shades fade really quickly throughout the day, even with a primer. It's a palette that I honestly was hoping would be amazing because the whole idea of the palette is phenomenal, but the quality of the shadows is just average. I mean, if this palette came in different packaging or if I were, say, to depot these pans and stick them in a magnetic palette, I really don't think I would ever reach for them. For $60, it's like you're getting average drugstore quality eyeshadows. Totally usable, not horrendous by any means, but you know, not fantastic, but you're getting it at a high end price and the price you're paying is simply for the packaging. If you guys watch my videos regularly, you know that I'm always on the lookout for something unique. I feel like everything in the makeup world has been done. Every color has been done. It's very hard to find something that stands out. So this is definitely something that stands out simply for the packaging and the aesthetic and the fact that this is genuinely a collector's item. Do I regret purchasing this? Absolutely not. I am a huge makeup collector, as you guys know, and this is definitely one of the most unique palettes I have in my entire collection. I really love it. It's definitely going to be like a vanity piece for me. Also, just to let you guys know, this palette is made in the USA and in each of these pans, you are getting 1.234 grams of product. So you're getting a really decent amount of product in this palette total. And I do like that it's made in the USA. That's really, really nice. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on the Storybook Cosmetics Wizardry and Witchcraft palette. I am really excited to see what other products Storybook Cosmetics releases because they have some really, really unique ideas and collaborations coming up and I cannot wait to see what they release. So that is pretty much everything for today's video. Like I said, do not forget to check out the Ronnie Cosmetics promotion. I will put all of the info in the description box down below for you guys. I will also go ahead and put a link to shop Ronnie Cosmetics right up here for for you guys in case you're not subscribed to my channel yet I will put a subscribe link down here for you but that is everything thank you guys so so much for watching supporting and subscribing and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday I'll see you then bye